my guest for my Microsoft Teams live event uses Gmail. So what I've done is I've added this guest to my team. It's such a great idea if you're having a webinar to have a team for the webinar because of course you want to have some conversations and file sharing about the webinar. So it's just helpful. So invited to my team. So they're going to open up the email and it says open up Microsoft. So they'll be prompted to create an account for that team. So something to understand is that Microsoft accounts are siloed. So if you have a free Microsoft account with your Gmail account and then you're invited by a school to participate on their team, that Microsoft account is siloed from your personal one. So it's asking you to create an account and a password when maybe you already have one, but you're actually making it on their tenant, on their Microsoft school silo. So for anybody, if they invite you from their school, if five schools invite you, you will need to set up a password five times. So I'm going to go ahead and create a password, change my display name, and then it's going to send an email for a verification code. So check back in the email, verify my email address, paste the code, If you're going to be a producer or a presenter in a Microsoft Live Teams event, you have to have the app. But let's first just visit Teams on the web. You can download or use the web app. I'm going to choose web app. And this just gets them into the team. I find it just easiest to start with the web app. Not that it really matters but give it a go.